Yo, what's up guys? It's Dove here. Welcome back to another Arena Valor video. And um, today we're going to be going over how to play the mid lane efficiently with the uh, buffs, upcoming buffs to the mid lane. I feel like there's going to be a lot of like new players and players that haven't played it before that need, you know, some uh, tips and tricks on how to play mid because they're uh, doing a pretty hard buff to all mages and that's because they're lowering their lowering the health of um, minions and they're also increasing the gold that the minions give you and also I think they're increasing the damage reduction at five minutes for the tower to like 60% or something so mid lane tower just won't go down as easily as it did before which means that you can roam more if you're like a roaming mage and um yeah so one of the first things I want to say is draft is super important with mages um if you're not playing a meta mage right now you probably won't win the game and also if you're not counter picking or picking for your team like what your team needs you probably won't win either and um the thing for me is when i look at the mages in the game like if i'm explaining it to someone that doesn't like know anything about any of the mages every single mage will have one of these three key characteristics and that's poke um burst and cc and uh Mages that have all three are usually a lot better, and they're really good into most comps. So like Raz, uh, Liliana, they're they're really good because they're just so useful. They, they have everything that you need. They have a little bit of CC, they have really good poke, and they can burst anyone. That's just kind of perfect. Like they all do, they do everything that a mage needs. And those are always good in any comp usually, but it also depends on the player because the skill, ba skill gap of Raz and Liliana is pretty high, so not everyone can play them. But usually you see like top players one tricking those heroes. Uh, and yeah, not, not every low level player can play those heroes. So what you guys wanna do if you can't play those kind of heroes is uh, pick against the team that you're playing against or picking for your team, like I said before. So say your team has no CC, you wanna pick an Alistair, obviously, or someone with CC like, um, uh who am i thinking of what's her name god i free alumia there you go that's that's another hero with cc just you can go down the line there's a lot of heroes that have decent cc vera even not a bad mage she has a really good shutdown she has like two stuns in two seconds if you use devil's awakening there's just so many options for you and what and you have to pick against what you're playing against too so if there's someone that you can kite on the other team like a xanis a rourke uh Kilgroth, jungle you want to pick a mage that can kite them so someone that uses probably sprint and like a kali or uh flash can't kite i'm trying to think actually kali is like the perfect kiting mage there's, there's a couple more raz can kite like there, there's a decent amount of mages that can kite too dirac can kite pretty well too he's also a pretty heavy cc mage uh Crixie can kite so Crixie's is actually one of the mages that have uh all three just if you go through them you can tell like which have which so i suggest you guys look at the mages and like see oh they all have these uh i can pick this mage versus this one it's really easy to see what kind of mage is a counter to a different mage or a different team comp like Ozenka, for example if you didn't know is a counter to l'oreal because she sits in her circle Ozenka throws down his circle and she can't do anything it's a decent counter, but also I really wouldn't even play that because he's so bad right now. Azenka, Maganga, they're just probably the worst mages in the game. And also right now, Tulin is a really good mage, even though he doesn't, he has, he actually has a little tiny bit of CC with his one slow. Um, but yeah, he's poked burst basically all out, but he doesn't have all three. Still a great mage, still a great option. And um, yeah, I'm going to go over more tips on how to play like the playstyle of mages in the video coming up. But just some little rundown quick tips. Uh, yeah, don't die. Dying is really not good. I'm gonna say that right now. Uh, if you die, your team is probably gonna lose. Sometimes if you die one time in a match, your team loses uh, because you're dead. If you're, if you're not dying, you're winning. Just think about that. Every death is just, it's, it's really bad. Just try not to die. Honestly, sometimes when you try not to die, you will just win without thinking about it. And you, I mean, you still want to do damage and stuff, but not dying is the most important. Think of your health as a utility. Health is not there. It's just, just like, I, I don't know. It's weird. It's hard to explain, but health is just a resource. It's, 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 that's all it is. It's a resource to get things done, to take objectives. That's all your health should be to you. 
it's a resource so and and your life is a resource too it's a resource to take objectives if you're not on the map there's objectives being lost you're not taking anything so yeah dying is um super bad and also wait what was i gonna say next i'm trying to look at something uh that's really it honestly uh also just don't stay in your lane at level two make sure you guys roam check the map um a lot of times i'll see people in lower ranks will just sit in mid lane or they'll do the opposite and sit in the other lane which is super super tilting for um like the adc or something i had a guy just sit in my lane clear the waves with me for like two waves i swear he didn't go back to his lane that's uh that's super tilting for the adc so what you should do is try to last hit all your minions get poke while you're last hitting clear your wave fast and i usually like to gank the dragon lane it's a pretty safe bet uh slayer lane gank level two is actually pretty good some people don't expect it just it's kind of um scary to gank when you don't have support roaming with you like you do in lower rank because like in lower rank all they do is is dual lane so a lot of the times like a jungler might do something like crazy and they'll just end up or someone else will just end up in your lane and they'll rotate from dragon lane you're gonna you're walking over and you just meet two people walking over to you and it kind of sucks so just path a little bit more carefully when you're playing in lower rank i would say because your support's supposed to be roaming with you and allowing mid to rotate. And another key tip is to rotate with your jungler. You should always be with your jungler if you're the mage, just taking objectives wherever he goes, you go. It's actually pretty easy. Same with the support, you guys should roam as three together. Um, and uh, I think that's really it. Let's get into the gameplay. All right, boys, here we are in the draft on my account. This is a diamond match, I believe. Uh, as you see here, I'm trying to assert dominance over the mid lane pick, trying to make sure my team knows I want to play mid. That's what you should do in the draft. Just if you have any good win rates on certain heroes in mid lane, just spam them and just keep saying over and over again what you want to be banned and what you want to pick. Uh, sometimes you can't always get the position you want, so just try your best like I do here. Fortunately, this was, this was my first game too, and I, I get it, I guess. It, it kind of helps if you just spam. <laughs> Honestly, it does. Like people will be like, "All right, just give it to him. I'll play something else." If you're like the first person to say it. Luckily, this Grack wanted to save. I probably, in the end, shouldn't have saved for these guys. I should pick something else. I don't know, man. Y you'll see. This gameplay is it, it's it's a good gameplay. I'll, I'll say that. But yeah, so the enemy team picks Ada, uh, Hayate, and who was their third pick here? Alice. So pretty CC heavy, like if I'm stunned by Alice or At if Atta puts down his thing, I have to be able to get out. Uh, so I need a little bit of mobility. So I'm already thinking of picking Liliana here. It's actually a solid pick, even though I flexed it in the beginning, like I was going to pick it. Liliana is a really, really solid pick into Atta because you can just dash over. I, I, want, I wanted something that can kind of poke the Alice because she's not really that, that healthy of a mage. I mean, a support. So Liliana is actually a solid pick. A Raz would be good here. Uh, Marge is a good pick here. I'm trying to think who else I have out of, out of the heroes I have. I don't really have too many on this account. But L'Oreal could have been an actually decent pick. Alistair would have shut me down though. So I didn't want to pick the L'Oreal. I wanted to pick a mage that can poke at a distance and also get out of Ada's stun and get away from the butterfly. So I picked Liliana. Liliana is super solid into this team comp. Uh, we have decent CC, not really the best. We have a Arthur, Arthur ult. I'm just looking through builds here. I already know what to build. I just want to see what people are building uh, right now. He said these people were super, super toxic. Uh, another tip I would say is just turn off your chat. I don't know why I kept it on here. It didn't tilt me or anything. I was laughing the whole time playing this match. I really didn't care uh, but yeah I, I, tr I didn't try super hard here you know my my uh you'll see I miss a little bit of uh, abilities I, I, I play pretty well though we do a lot of damage but yeah this is like a veteran diamond game as you can see and we have an Emily jungle which is not the best into their team comp she can get kited pretty easily she can't get around the Ada um, ultimate we have a Grack who I don't know what Grack is gonna do to stop the butterfly who can just teleport over top of him 
and yeah, it's not looking like the best draft for our team. We also have an Arthur who will get kited easily by the Hayate. Hayate counters both that any tanky hero pretty well. So it's kind of up to me to carry this game. As you can see here, for most mages, Evil Secrets is a perfect second item. I would always, almost always build Evil Secrets second because of how overpowered it is right now. That penetration is amazing. Please use Evil Secrets in your builds. Second item, always. And right now, it is not good to build um, the, the tier build, whatever it is, that the item that gives you the regen. Go straight into um, Magic Armor Boots or whatever they are, uh, the CC Boots, because, uh, yeah, it's just not worth buying the, the Ashes, whatever the item is called, the, the yellow item, okay? I, I don't know the name of it. So I clear my wave, I do a little poke on the Alistair there, and I'm either looking to get this camp or gank. Hayate's under his tower, I'm not going to be able to do anything. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to take this camp. Butterfly won't get level four. I think that the Alice is roaming with the butterfly. I'm like, all right, where's Alice? I don't see her. But as soon as this Alistair walks over to red, I'm like, okay, she's over. At, I mean, at the blue buff. So I'm desperately trying to get this blue. I know it's low because she's been there the whole time. I take the blue, okay? And then we actually get a double kill here, I'm pretty sure. Do we? Okay, we kill the Alice, she goes down. And then we kill the Alistair. Hayate wants some some beef. I get a good poke on him. He flickers over the wall, or I, I think he actually did flicker because he missed his, yeah, his dash. And then we kill him too. So we get three kills, but two of our teammates die. Pretty sure the Arthur and our jungler both die because the Ada is just slapping this Arthur in lane. Uh, my bad. I probably should have went over and helped. I didn't know that um, Our jungler would fight an Ada level 2. It just uh, Honestly, I probably would have died too. So it was actually a good choice to go over and take the blue buff We have a blue buff now. We're doing decently and it was just a misplay by our team You don't fight Ada level 2 like that. You just clear your jungle get level 4 Our jungler has no idea really what they're doing they're up in the lane, not clearing their red buff. I don't even know if, I don't think the red buff is there. We catch out the Alistair here, actually. We know he's not level four. What can the Alistair do? Nothing. Get a good little combo on him. He's dead. But as you can see up in that lane, our team is just not having a good time. Kind of feeding. I missed my S2 on that Hayate there. And uh, yeah, currently I'm looking at the mid lane. I'm like, oh, I don't want to miss all my farm in the mid lane. So I'm trying to get over there. And we're doing decently, 202. Teams uh, not doing too great, but we have control. We're playing, we're out, way out playing this Alistair. We have control of the mid lane, complete control. We had a blue buff early, and uh, yeah, we're doing pretty well. I didn't want to build Tome of Reaper here because I didn't think I really needed it versus this Ada. But you'll see in the end, I'm like, fuck, I have to build it. And uh, yeah, it's kind of bad. But yeah, I clear my wave. Immediately I go over to gank this lane because uh, the bot lane is dead. You do not want to gank a losing lane. I don't know what this guy said. He said Liliana Kagopalos. Don't know what that means. Hopefully I don't get this video taken off because I read that out loud. So I do a lot of lot of poke to these guys over here. And unfortunately we can't really follow up with anything. I know the Alistair's roaming over here. I want to clear my mid wave. I don't want to miss any minions. I don't miss any. Uh, so I, I safely path over to the mid lane. See the Alistair, he went through there too. I, I can't go bot, I can't go top, so I'm just going to take this blue buff because our jungler is just not farming. It, you might think it's toxic, but he hasn't been farming anything, really. I don't think he's gotten a buff all game, so I really don't know what to do besides take this buff so the other people can't take it. And if I rotate down to bot lane, I'll die because of how fed they are, so I really don't want to go down there. So what do I do? I take the blue and I clear another wave. I'm getting myself ahead. It's time for me now to go top because of their, their diving. Obviously, they're just going to go all out, make some mistakes. And we catch this Alice and Hayate under the tower. And actually, that helps out Artel, but Artel walks right into the butterfly, even though I gave her vision. I try to save her here, but the Desicle and the ultimate on butterfly is just too OP. And she kills her, but I, I kill her there. And it's we're, we're playing really well. We get a shutdown on the butterfly. And our team is uh, feeding out of their minds. <laughs> There's not really anything we can do. This guy says Arthur item, so I'm like, what? What is he building? He's not building anything wrong. I don't think he's he's building Mantle of Ra. 
But yeah, there's uh, nothing we can really do. They're just, these guys are flaming each other in chat. Like I said, should probably just turn off the chat. Not really a good tool. It doesn't help you with anything. But yeah, I'm just focusing on clearing my wave, getting poke on this Alistair so he can't do anything with his ultimate. You'll see here, I cut him off. I know he's coming. Poke, stun. I actually could have went in there, but it was kind of risky. I have no vision of the butterfly. She's super fed and uh, he can just ult me and she kills me. So I just poke him out. I know he has definitely has to go back. I could have flickered on them and killed him there, but I just, it's risky, man. Alistair, cl if he clicks his ult fast enough, I just die. So yeah, we just, we just take his tower instead. Uh, their butterfly is just free roaming our jungler's jungler right now. Nothing I can do. So I'm taking the mid lane, but I guess we're giving over our red buff. I probably should have invaded I don't, the blue buff of butterfly just no she has her blue buff here it's kind of a misplay by me she i didn't know how fast this butterfly is she's just on top of me so i had to use two big uh spells there and um this fight i'm just keeping it really safe i want to stay in human form and do poke just do a lot of burst poke i don't want to jump in yet so i'm just here in the back line just doing a bunch of poke killing this ada my ultimate, for some reason, doesn't go to Atta. I don't know who I hit with it, but I think I killed someone. But yeah, we overall win that fight. And our tell kind of pops off a little bit. So it's a good fight for us. We played pretty well. I checked the red buff. Arthur, um, just, just doing his thing over there, you know? I don't really know. So as you can see, we built the blue boots for the uh, reduction of CC because they have a ton of CC. They have the Alistair CC, the Alice CC. They have so much. It's just, it's kind of mind numbing the Ada too. So you definitely need to buy the blue boots in this against this kind of team. Liliana's pretty good mage versus, you can win versus anyone if you poke them out. Poke is really, really good now because of the, um, the, the tier item is just not worth buying anymore. So they don't get that health regen when they level up. You poke them out, he has to go back, he has to go back home. So I'm just clearing my wave. I see they're diving over here. I definitely have to go help them. It's not, it's looking pretty good actually. Yeah, it's a good fight. I go and I ult this Alistair. I kind of misplay a little bit. My ultimate goes on to her. I actually kill her. Actually, it was a misplay. And I could have killed the Alistair there, but my ultimate for some reason is targeting the low person. I feel like you can target differently. I, I guess, I don't know. Here, I get a little cocky. I should have just ran away right away. I go the wrong way to dodge some skills. And this dude's damage is actually just disgusting. And I do nothing to him. My Grack is just running around doing his thing. My bad, I die, and I actually think we lose the game because of this. Uh, you'll, you'll see, but I die once, and um, my team decides, yeah, just get deleted by the butterfly. So it's not it's not looking too good, guys. Really not looking too good in this game, but we are playing well. Five and one, our team uh, not doing too great, but we're gonna try to carry. And Liliana is actually really good to, to carry with. So, look, their their jungler hasn't even built Leviathan fully yet. Just uh, just kind of a sad, sad match. But we're playing really well, and uh, you'll see we continue to just doing a lot of good poke, doing our job, clearing the wave. I want to play really safe here because I know they can just dive me on the tower. So I continue to poke them. The Alice is like one health. I probably could have flickered on her, but just it's not. It's too risky with this guy. I think I misplay here. Yeah, look how low this this high tay is. I could have just flickered on him. I flicker, I hit the wall. I don't go anywhere. Just really, really, really bad for me. That was I, that was my misplay this game when I said I, I played, I uh, messed some stuff up. But we finish, we uh, we end up finishing off the Alistair. High tay somehow gets away. That shield item is actually really good. The support shield item that saved that dude's life. And um, yeah, now we're five one and seven. Pretty pretty good scoreline. Besides that flicker, we've been playing pretty, pretty damn well. Like I said, it was my first match. I <laughs> wasn't doing anything too crazy. But we are playing the way you should play. I'm staying in the back line, not putting myself at risk. Checking here is kind of risky, actually, to be honest. But we, we are we're playing really, really well. Now, we should have actually taken Slayer there. It was actually a good call because we were all on that side of the map. We know their jungler's on the other side. I'm just checking all the bushes here. Arthur's saying anti-heal. I really don't think I need anti-heal. I just want to 
I don't want to spend spend money to to get that. I just want to burst them with some more burst items. This is our power spike though. When you get the boomstick on most mages, poke mages, boomstick is that power spike. But our team, as you can see here, just uh, kind of feeding. But we clean up, stay in the back, doing so much damage. That's a triple kill right there. Is, is that a quad? I think that no, it was only a triple kill. But yeah, we played that fight really, really well. We let everyone else take the damage. Came in at the end and just blew everyone up. And we actually could have, uh, I think, did we, could we have ended the here? I, no, actually, no, we can't. I tried, man. I was trying to push as hard as I could. The, the ultimate from Alice is just so AIDS. I don't hit the tower by accident. I know they're all spawning, so I'm like, fuck this. I have to get out of there. I'm trying to like peel for this guy and make sure he gets out. I thought the high tape was going to dash there, so I preemptively threw my skill. But yeah, we're 8-1-8. Eight, eight. I wanted this blue buff really, really bad. Our jungler really isn't doing anything. So if you're ahead, don't be afraid to ask for the buff or take it. It's not toxic. You're the mage. Sometimes you actually need that blue. But if, if, if you don't have mana, you know, that's, that's pretty toxic. Don't take the buff. And there's not really much to say here. Our team is not playing amazing, but just don't get tilted. That's that's a really big thing. Don't don't get tilted. I'm checking every single bush. That's really important. If you guys have poke ability, any poke ability on your mage, make sure you check every bush before you walk. Just it's you need to. There's no reason why you shouldn't check if you don't have vision. They're fighting here. I want to stay in human form, keep poking, and we just get obliterated. That, dude, that damage from this <laughs> butterfly is stupid. That's all I have to say about that. So we just go back home, get some health. We're still doing pretty well. Game is not over yet. We actually only need one good team fight and we can win. You see here, I, I'm just staying in the back line, poking, stunning them, doing as much damage as I can from the back. The Grack tries to do something fancy, but he just ends up flickering on the auto, which means nothing. Butterfly's going in here. I miss my stun on the Hayate. And, uh, okay, I, I get the kill there and flicker out. Actually, not that bad play. Still pretty pretty good fight for us I and here's my mistake I go in on the Ada and this dude is just healing like crazy look at that he, I'm just dead so my second death of the game and it's looking kind of bad I'm 9 2 and 9 my team just I, we I have to carry like I can't die it's just my bad and that's the thing you, you'll have games where you do like 50% damage and you just can't win and that's just the that's just the uh, part of playing a role that's not jungle in this game. It's sad to say, but you know, jungle it takes control of the game. The objectives takes objectives. As a mage, you really can't take Slayer. You can't take towers unless you're a Liliana, a Kali, someone that can you know take out towers fast. So you you really can't do that. All you can do is is help win fights, and that's what I'm trying to do here. Do as much damage as I can as much poke as I can before fights. If you poke them out before you guys start fighting, you'll always be in an advantage, and that's what I'm trying to do here. Poke, I know this Alice, I, I keep poking her. And uh, yeah, it's not looking too good, boys. Not not looking too good. Our <laughs> our jungler, I don't know, I think he, he did like 10% damage this game or something, man. I, I'm trying, but, but yeah, I, maybe Raz would have been a better uh, pick here. Actually, I don't know. Just Lil Liliana is always solid, dude. It just the poke late game is so good. And someone with more wave clear actually could have been better, like a Kali. But Kali can't get out of that auto ultimate, and if he gets on you, you're dead. So it's kind kind of hard. This game, their their draft was actually pretty decent. They they were really well rounded. There's nothing you really could pick to straight up counter them. And I just had to play as best as I could. They're just all flaming each other in the chat, dude. Like I said, turn off, turn off that chat. And this is diamonds, dude. This isn't like high level stuff. Like I, I thought I could have carried this, but you know, 
it, it's kind of hard when they're when the jungler is so far ahead. But here, late game, all you want to do is clear. I'm trying to clear that mid wave as much as I can. And I really, really wanted to fight over this. If we, we fought over this, we could have gotten a good fight. Look how I'm trying to poke. No one else on my team is coming. Our Arthur's sitting in the bush at the red buff or something, typing. I don't know, man. Poking out the Ada. Tell, uh, tell Mrs. her ultimate just throws it out crazy. I Did the Arthur... Build his items? I don't know what he's doing, man. So, all we can do now is clear wave, and that's it. We really don't want to fight outside our towers. This game is still 100% winnable, as long as our team doesn't fight outside the towers. I probably should have typed, but I, I probably would have got them tilted. Grak decides to go outside the tower and ult. I go outside the tower too, because I'm playing dumb. And this is what happens. We actually are winning the fight at first, but as you can see, it all goes wrong because we didn't fight under a tower. That's the biggest thing. When you guys are down, turtle, you don't have to leave your towers. It's not a big deal. You guys can extend the game longer. And that's what our team did wrong there. They, uh, yeah, they went outside the tower and I'm left 1v5 to defend, 1v4 to defend. And I, uh, I couldn't. But yeah, we, we played really well. That was a solid game from us, besides the fact that we let the Alice take the buff in the beginning and one flicker. Pretty perfect game, I would say. Yeah, and a couple of the deaths were kind of cringe, but you know, we did our best. This Ada, he played really well, 40% damage taken. Maybe I should have built the Tome, that's on me, I guess. We had 40% damage, 82% uh, participation, and only 15% damage on us, the lowest in the game. So nobody touched us, and we did the most damage in the game. So pretty pretty good example of how to play Mage, I would say. If you guys want any more tips and tricks on how to play Mage, maybe some other heroes, some other gameplays with other Mages, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Nicotine, 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 R.I.P. Gonna be the death of me, way too addicting Kiss like nicotine, 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 nicotine